Part one of this video series, what we've done is we've got it all the way up to the point now that we're, we're getting ready to start cutting the threads, but not quite. What we've got to do now is take some measurements and figure out what our thread pitch is and then start changing out the gears down here on the gear head of the lathe to get our thread pitch cut. And that's where we're picking up from. Hi, my name is Jim Green, and I'm a gunsmith. The name of my shop is Gunworks in Millbridge, Maine. Today's video is part two of how we're going to cut threads and fit this barrel blank up to a rifle action. So we've got our uh, threading bit set up 60 degree, uh, for 60 degree V threads. I've got the shank turned, got the little relief cut up here just like on the original barrel. Now you got to figure, all right, how many threads per inch? What's the pitch rate on this thing? So you got these little thread gauges here. Let's take this and set it right up in there and read. It's 12. Twelve threads per inch. So let's set this thing up to cut twelve threads per inch. Come on over and take a look. Okay, we're going to cut twelve threads per inch. You're going to look over here, threads per inch. Find the number twelve. This is going to be your gear position on this particular lathe to get 12 threads an inch. We'll flip over to the threads and I'm going to pick my spindle speed. I'd say it looks like we're about ready to start cutting threads. Okay, the thread's going to look a little rough. I was taking some big bites out of that because it's getting late. But we're going to try screwing the receiver up onto the... How about that there? Yeah, we're pretty darn, pretty darn good on them threads. Now what I am going to have to do is go back and bevel this outside edge right here a little bit. Clean these threads up because like I said, I was taking some pretty big bites out of it. And then uh, we're going to make sure that... Uh, shoulder right here fits up against this and what I'd like to do is have the inside right here 
fit up against the inside face right there. One last thing we are going to have to do though, if you'll notice, okay, you got your major diameter and minor diameter of the threads, but you'll also notice that the inside right here, this little shank, just a little bit thinner. So we're going to have to get this uh, part right here thinned down, turned with the lathe down to this diameter, so she'll slide all the way into place where it's supposed to go. I didn't explain uh, how to get your major and minor dimensions on your thread depth. Um, I did show you a little bit about you know using a thread pitch gauge. Uh, it's not rocket science. Um, some some people are going to look at that and say, "Good God, did you see how big of a chip he was taking out while he was threading?" Well, yeah. Like I said. Gunsmithing, like other machine work, it's a time thing. The less time you spend goofing around with it, the better off you're going to be. So let's take a look. I'm turning this thing all the way up on here. I don't have it cinched down or anything, but I'll tell you what, it's fitting pretty nice. Come around and take a look at the side here. Take a look right here. I got the little uh, shoulder right up against the face of the receiver. Our shank's been cut. Everything's been done internally as much as we can with this one. So let me take this off and show you. Still got some metal shavings in there. I got to clean up a little bit, but you see where I turned that little uh, smaller shank right here in the back to match up to this one. So that's where we're at right now. So what I'll do next is I'll take a chamber reamer. I'll go ahead and uh, punch this thing out. Tighten this up. Before I set the final headspace depth, though, I am going to have to go over to the milling machine and cut a little slot all the way across. Let me move that out of my hand there. Cut a little slot all the way across, just like this. Because your bolt, let me go grab the bolt. Bolt on these particular rifles right here, if you notice, they got the two lugs right there. That's going to go up inside and lock right in here like this. The other part of this thing's missing. Let me get the other bolt. Notice how you got the two little lugs on here? You got the extractor and the ejector. On these G9840s, uh, these Hungarian M43s, you can see right there moving up and down. That's your ejector. Those pieces are going to fit right in here just like that. So before I set the final headspace, I'm going to go ahead and take a boring bar, go back up in here, and I'm going to ream this out with a boring bar, get it kind of close to size, take a chamber reamer, get it close, but then before I set the final headspace depth, before I can do anything else, what I'm going to have to do is cut this slot all the way across here to that depth. And I'll put that in the milling machine to cut that. That'll be uh, milling machine work for a video, uh, a different video later. You've already seen how I... Uh, cut chambers in rifle barrels. Well, this is cutting threads in a rifle barrel right here, getting it ready to be chambered. Okay, let's loosen the spotters in the back. So I took a little thread file and cleaned the threads up a little bit. It's going to work out pretty nice. Hey, in fact, let me go grab the stock and let's drop this thing in the stock and see how good uh, this new barrel contour is going to fit. I'll be right back. Well, let's see. I've uh, picked up the stock, took the magazine box, the trigger guard and everything off the bottom of it. So let's see how well this is going to fit. How about that? Pat Nor really did a heck of a great job with that. That thing is perfect. Drop in right in the stock. No problems. 
Well, you just saw in the video here how I uh, cut shanks and threads in barrel blanks to fit them up to an action. I'm going to tell you right now, my way is not the only way of doing this. This is the way I do things. Uh, other machinists or other gunsmiths may do things different. Some of the folks that are watching this video are going to say, geez, did you see the size of the chips coming off of that? There again, I'm a one-man shop. I get very busy. Time means money. If I'm goofing around trying to make little sissy cuts, I'm going to be taking all day long. And I get people who are impatient. Sometimes guys will call me up, hey, is my gun done yet? Is my gun done yet? I don't want to have to tell them, nah, it's not done yet because I'm still working on it. So, man up. Take a bite out of that metal. If you've got a machine that's going to be able to do it and you're not burning the bits up and you're not breaking anything, take big chunks of metal off that. It's not going to hurt a thing. Thanks for watching this latest video. Down East Gunworks is now shifting towards building custom rifles. What you see in this video interests you, or if you have a special project in mind, contact the shop through Jim at DowneastGunworks.com. And a special thanks to the folks that contributed to this project.